In this video, I'm going to show you two very useful formulas, VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. Also, I'm going to show you some secret on how I produce the letter grades. All right, so here we have a table with a list of students and the points they have received from the class. And what I want to do is I want to fill in their grades based on the points they have received and the conversion between the points band and the letter grade. So first, let's take a quick look at how we filter and sort tables. Now, we have three columns here. And go to Data. And then click on here, Filter. Once I click on Filter, I can see the first row has these small triangles displayed. And these are what we use to either do sorting or to do filtering and click on this so I can choose to sort from A to Z or Z to uh, A or I can filter the text by trying to select specific names or to check off some of the names. If I do this, these two students will no longer be displayed. So let me put them back. And now let's sort it. So now this is sorted alphabetically by the student names. And then I can sort on column B using the number of points that they have received from, from the class. Largest to smallest, smallest to largest. In addition, I can do a sort. Here you go to sort. Sort allows you to sort the data using multiple columns. So in this case, uh, currently it's already been sorted by the points from smallest to largest. Now let's add a level. And uh, uh, first we want to sort by the student name A to Z. Then if they have the same name, we sort them by the points from smallest to largest. Now click OK. So in this case, you can see there are two arrows here. Both columns are used to sort the student names. Now I've been able to sort the table. Next, I want to put in letter grades based on the point to grade conversion table. Uh, in order to use this table, first let me just copy this down. Select the table, and here I want to teach a quick shortcut to do copy and paste. Instead of right click and select copy, sometimes we use both hands for operation. It's just faster that way. Use your keyboard. So hold control and type C. So control C, this will copy this table. And then uh, we want to paste this down. I put the cell here. Here, if you just type down the return key, you automatically paste this. So it is pasted the table. Uh, I want to change this table a little so that I can use for the letter grade conversion. Um, on each one of these cells, uh, I'm going to type in the lower bound of these letter grades. In that cell, I'm going to just type in 93. And then for A minus, it's 90. For B plus is 85, 80, 75, 70, 60, and 0. So these are the lower bonds of these letter grades. And next, I'm going to sort this. So select a cell on top of the table. And then just click A to Z. It's going to sort this from the lowest to the highest. Now I have this table. This is what I need for the point conversion. Next, I'm going to use the formula VLOOKUP to find the letter grades for the students based on the points that they have received. So I'm going to use equals VLOOKUP. 
And then the value I look for is the student's points, in this case, the cell B2, comma. And uh, as you can see here, the tip line for Excel asked me to put in the table array next. And the table array is this table that converts uh, the lower bound of points to the letter grade. One of the things Excel does when I copy this formula around is it's going to move the uh, corresponding cells as well. So if I copy this down, B2 will become B3. And the problem is G13 to H20 here, it will become G14 to H21 because it's going to move down correspondingly. I don't want this table array to move with me. So what I do is I want to lock this area. There's a shortcut key in Excel to do this. Uh, that is the functional key F4. So if you just type F4, uh, it's going to lock down this area. So as you see here, these cells now have a dollar sign in front of column G, in front of row 13, in front of uh, H, and in front of 20. This dollar sign means you are currently locking down these areas or these cells so that when you copy this VLOOKUP around, this area will not change. It will always refer to G13 to H20. Instead of using the functional key F4, you can also type in $G13. That would serve the same purpose. So, comma. And the next is the column uh, index n uh, number. So it's going to look for the first column in VLOOKUP, and then which column does it return? It will return the letter grades. That's what I want. It's the second column, so it's column 2, and then comma. So the last one is a optional command, uh, but I would advise you to always put in either true or false there just make the formula easier to read. And uh, here, there are two different options, true or false. If you put in true, it will do an approximate match. If you put in false, it will do an exact match. So in this case, we are not exactly matching the point received to the numbers here in this table. We are actually looking for the lower bound that's what approximate match does. So we're going to put in true here. Just type in true and then close it up. So this is basically the formula I use to look for letter grades based on the conversion table and then return. So in this case, it returns the grade D. As you look at the top table here, between 60 and 70, it's a D grade, so 65 returns a D. And uh, then once I do that, I can copy this to all the students. So again, hover your mouse at the bottom right corner of this cell, and then double click the left button of the mouse. It will copy this all the way down. And then let's select, let's say, student uh, six, Alex, Alexander Fox has a 82 and has a grade B. 82 should be a grade B. That's correct. And then the formula, as you can see here, once it's copied, the first cell, which is not locked, you can see here it has copied down to B6. The second, the area, we have locked this with the dollar signs. So now when I copy it, it stays in the same place. Again, looking for the second row. And then and true, we use a approximate match. And it returns the letter grade based on lower bound of the grading bands. OK, so as you can see, we look up a very useful command. And second, I'm going to, again, use VLOOKUP to find the grades of a student. So here I have a student's name is Mina Alexander. 
and I want to find the student's grade, I'm going to use VLOOKUP again. We look up parenthesis. What I'm looking for is the student's name, comma. In this VLOOKUP, I'm going to use the big table here to find the student's grade. So click on this and select the table. Okay. If I want to copy this around again, I would want to lock the selection of this table. So for this one, if I don't need to copy it, I don't particularly need to lock this down. So I don't need to lock it. I just select that table and comma. In this case, I want to return the letter grade of this student. So this is column one of the area I have selected, column two, column three. So it's column three. And in this case, I want a exact match of the student name. So instead of true, I'm going to use false. And parenthesis closed up, return. Now we can see that the student's grade is B. Let's roll it down to find the Mina Alexander. So the letter grade is B. As you can see here, VLOOKUP is a very, very useful command. We're going to use more of it down the road. Similar to VLOOKUP, there's another command uh, that is called HLOOKUP, so horizontal lookup. This is used when you search for information that is listed in a horizontal table instead of a vertical table. In this table, I have the pricing information that displays the quantity discount. So if I purchase one to nine units, it's $100 per unit. If I purchase 10 to 49 units, it's $90. 50 to 99 is $80, etc. So when I purchase more, the price goes lower. Now, if I have three new clients coming in, their purchase quantities are listed here, and I want to find out what is the unit price I give them based on the quantity discount table. Instead of looking up manually, I can use HLOOKUP to do this. And then the value I look for is in this cell A10 and comma. So the next is the table or array I use to look up. So this is the table I use to look up. Again, because I need to copy this formula and I want that lookup area to be the same, type down, tap down the F4 key and it locks up that area and then comma and the next is the row column so it's the quantity is in row one the price is in row two so i type in two and comma again i'm going to look for the lower bound of the numbers instead of looking at the exact quantity i'm going to do an approximate search so i use true and then close it return so looking at it, 32, the price is $90, that's correct. And then I can actually copy this to the other ones, and then I can get the unit price numbers. So this is how you use HLOOKUP.